Coaching Corner. This week I want to talk about asking open-ended questions. When someone comes to you for advice, it's really easy to start firing off a list of this is what you should do. If it were me, this is what I would do. Or here's how you should handle that. But what if you asked open-ended questions instead of giving them a long list of things to do instead? Open-ended questions are an awesome tool if they're used in the right way. It's a way to develop your team, to provide space for open, honest conversation. It's a way to problem solve within your team. Um, and they're just really powerful. So a couple of things to keep in mind as you are asking open-ended questions is to make sure that it's not a yes or no question. This will allow for um, more exploration and it will allow for the conversation to go a little deeper. Another thing is to keep your questions short and sweet. This will help you avoid having to repeat your question or for it to get too wordy and to get confusing. You really want it to be about the person digging into their answer rather than trying to process your question. You also want to avoid starting your question with why. Starting a question with why tends to put people on the defense from the beginning and then they shut down and the conversation doesn't really go anywhere. So instead, try starting your questions with what or how or who. Um, and then lastly, as they do answer these questions, make sure you're engaging in active listening and that you ask follow-up questions. These things will really help move your move your teammates forward, move your team forward, and really help with problem solving and development in the long run.